Hi, I'm very happy to get you again in my lecture. This lecture is also about perpetuity, but it is about uh, the present value of a perpetuity. Before I start, let me tell you that there will be no lecture about future value of a perpetuity because as you know, the perpetuity is uh, is a special annuity that continues forever. So because because it continues forever, so there is no end point of perpetuity. This is why we do not uh, we cannot actually calculate any future value of perpetuity. So uh, how to calculate the present value of a perpetuity? That is the learning objective of this lecture. Let's start. To see how to find the present value of a perpetuity, let us look at the time cash flow timeline. Okay, so in this cash flow timeline, you can see that uh, the cash flows are equal and also occurring at equal interval of time every year at the end of every year, and it is continuing forever. Okay, it is it will continue; it will never stop. So if we want to find the present value, then it must be the present value of all the cash flows. Okay, all the cash flows now. So if we look at the first cash flow, very simple to calculate cash flow CF over one plus R to the power N because it is discounted by for one year. Second one discounted for second uh, for two years, third one for three years okay uh, and so on so for whatever cash flow it will be discounted for the number of years uh, it is away from now so now if we want to estimate the uh, present value of the perpetuity then we have to add all these okay so if we do that then we get this series cf over one plus r to the power one cf over one plus r to the power two this is the second year cash flow this is the third year cash flow and it will never stop the series will continue uh, uh, continue forever okay it will never stop so for this series uh, if we take cf over 1 plus r as the common factor then we get another infinite series with exponents of 0 1 2 3 and so on over 1 over 1 plus r because this is an infinite geometric series so the formula of the sum of the infinite ge geometric series is uh, if we apply the formula, then we get this expression CF over 1 plus R over 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R. Okay, so this CF over 1 plus R is coming from here. So if we simplify this, then it becomes really very simple. Okay, as you can see, it becomes CF over R after very um, easy simplifications. So we can say that for a for calculating the present value of a perpetuity, our formula is very simple. It is actually the CF, the equal cash flow every year over the discount rate or interest rate. I hope that this formula can be applied very easily for solving any present value of perpetuity problem. Okay, let us look at an example. What is the present value of a bond that pays $1,000 coupon interest at the end of every year and will never mature? Okay, that means the bond will, uh, will continue forever. Okay, so consider that the market interest rate is 12%. In this case, $1,000 is the cash flow coming out of the bond every year, at the end of every year. So you have to find out the present value of this infinite series of equal cash flow okay so the timeline is like this cash flow timeline is like this 1000 1000 1000 continuing forever at the end of every year hmm. so before we apply the formula we have to we have to be sure that this is a perpetuity is it a perpetuity yes it has multiple cash flow equal cash flow cash withdrawal every one year and also cash flow will never stop so the present value of the perpetuity using the very simple formula cash flow over discount rate is 
$1,000 over 0 0.12 because the discount rate is 12%. So you get the present value of perpetuity that is $8,333.33. Is it not very simple? Okay, thank you very much for attending the lecture. I hope that you have understood how to estimate the present value of a perpetuity. I hope to see you again in my another lecture.